Well howdy folks, Sean here from Hiking with Sean on YouTube and today I'm getting ready to go for a hike and I wanted to uh, tell you all about a new piece of gear I picked up. Um, it's a camping slash hiking shovel, really outdoor shovel. Um, you could probably use it for practically anything but I picked it up for hiking. I want to kind of give it a little review and uh, show you what I think about it. So stay tuned. Okay, so this is called a Yakul shovel, and that's Y-E-A-C-O-O-L. And I will include a little link down in the description below where you can go check this out on Amazon. It's under 20 bucks for all this. That's what I thought was cool about it. Comes with this really good case. Um, it's pretty durable. It's like a cloth case. Has a belt loop. You could stick it on your belt. Has a little loop up here, which I would probably like because I can hook it up to a, hook it up to a carabiner and uh, carry it that way, hanging off the pack. Or I could just stick it in the pack, which I'll probably end up doing. And it has a little clip to uh, help you keep it in. The uh, clip system's pretty strong, pretty standard. You could tighten it up if you need to, loosen it, do whatever you need to do. Pretty good case. I mean, I'm. You know, nothing's ripping or nothing. It's uh, it's decent, and I, I was I didn't know what to expect for under twenty bucks, but so far I think this is a pretty awesome product. So getting into what it is, what it looks like, here is the product, and it's a shovel. So you got this part, that's part of your handle, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and assemble this right now. So it's easy, you just it's bent. You put it in the bag like that. You put the handle beside it. That way it all fits in there properly. Uh, disassemble and assembling is pretty easy. So that to assemble it, you just take and bend it out like that, like so. And you're gonna take this piece right here and you're gonna go ahead and screw it on. It's all threaded, screws on pretty easily. And voila, you got a pretty, pretty long shovel. Cool thing about the shovel, you could see this serrated edge. It's a knife. I mean, it will, it will cut. Um, it's pretty sharp uh, scent to me. Um, it, it would probably cut me, cut my hand if I ran it across it. So do be careful if you do that. You got a little bottle opener right here. Um, you got a little saw in case you want to, you know, saw on some uh, little branches and whatnot. And overall, man, th this is a really cool um, product. This this is what I like. You, un you unloosen this thing right here, and well, I wasn't un I wasn't unloosing it, folks. My bad. <laughs> I was tightening it up. So loosen it like so, and then watch this. Look at that. Then you tighten it back up. Tidy, 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 tidy. And check that out, folks. Check that out. Isn't that cool? You got yourself a pickaxe. <laughs> a, a, a legit pickaxe. I <laughs> feel like uh, going to mine for coal right now. But, you know, that's funny. Um, pretty cool. I think this is a pretty good product to carry uh, camping. Or, uh, I'm sorry, hiking, camping, really. In any of it, really. Um, a good product to leave in your vehicle if you want it. Um, it was cheap, so I just wanted to uh, try something out, and that's why I got it. Um, and I really enjoy it. Uh, for me, for me, I need a shovel when I uh, do hiking and, and whatnot, because well, sometimes I go to places and uh, they don't have a vault toilet. And sometimes I'll have to, you know, uh, take care of business outside in nature. And because I believe in leave no trace, um, and I don't want to uh, leave something behind that someone else can find and not like, you need to carry a shovel with you. That way you can dig a hole, you can bury what needs to be buried, and then you're done. 
Um, that's what I like about that shovel in particular. I like that it has a serrated edge because I like the features of it. I like the serrated edge. Um, mainly because it's going to be easier to dig. It's, it's sharper. And, you know, you can use it for other, other things. Like if I want to cut some wood and make a little fire and I don't have my knife or something's happening, you know, happened to my knife or whatever, I could use this. Um, you could saw through harder wood there. Got a bottle opener. I mean, I don't really drink from bottles that much, but it's still kind of neat. And then the whole pickaxe thing, that's kind of cool. The uh, extended handle really makes it easier to uh, hang on to. And uh, the, the case itself is just really, uh, really durable. So I really recommend this um, if you're looking for a shovel. I bought a shovel from, I'm not gonna name the store, but it's a large uh, retailer that seems to triumph everyone else. <laughs> Um, and they don't sell walls, <laughs> so I'm not going to name names, <laughs> but I bought a, a, a little, like, a stainless steel hiking shovel, camping shovel, and it's just a little folding shovel, and to be honest, it, it it's not a very um, durable shovel, and it costs more than this thing, and uh, I've noticed when I unfold it and I use it, the one I bought, not this one, the other generic one, it kind of hurts. It kind of has like uh, pointy ends and it bends and, and you know, when I'm trying to dig and it kind of hurts my hand. But this thing, I mean, it's, it's well made and it's light. It's really lightweight. So I wanted to share it because I took it, I took a chance because it was cheaper and it turned out it was a good uh, investment. And that's why I wanted to share it. And I'm wanting to do more videos like that. This where I share, uh, you know, gear and, uh, I thought this would be a cool video for that. So I definitely recommend it. I'm gonna put the link to this down in the description below. Check it out and pick you one up if you enjoy it. So, uh, upon first use of the shovel, um, you know, I dug into some fairly, uh, rooty ground and the, uh, serrated edge of the shovel cut through the roots pretty good. Um, got my shovel all nice and dirty first use. Everything held up. The tip didn't break off or anything like that. That's, that's something good when you're, uh, you know, messing with shovels. Um, never really had a shovel before, and when I bought one, uh, you know, it, it was mainly for the sole purpose of if I need to, you know, use the facilities <laughs> outdoors, um, you know, use the restroom outdoors in nature. And I want to make sure I bury what, you know, I leave behind, what I have to leave behind. Um, it's just proper uh, leave no trace etiquette, if you will. Um, and it's, 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 you're, you're, you're helping your fellow man when you do that. Or your fellow, your fellow person, your fellow human, man or woman. Um, kind of cleaned up my, my shovel a little bit. Um, I'll probably go home and use a rag clean it up a little bit more and overall I like it a lot when you when you tighten this baby up up here um, your, your your pickaxe part ain't going anywhere um, and if you un you know loosen it up as so then you can you can change that up tighten it up pickaxe could come in handy um, I don't know what I'd use a pickaxe for. I guess to kind of get through some harder dirt. Um, not too sure, but I'm sure some people can find that useful. Uh, I've seen a lot of like people who uh, look for gold and minerals and stuff like that on my channel. Um, people who subscribe to me, and I would think maybe something like this would help them out.
for that. Um, I don't know. But the shovel itself, I really enjoy. I really enjoy this product a lot. Um, I'm not getting paid to, uh, you know, talk about this product. Um, I just, I want to start reviewing things, start making more reviews, and find products that are kind of not so known, and, uh, you know, make little reviews for them and see if you all want to check it out. So... I would say this was probably made in another country besides the U.S., um, like a lot of things, but it's pretty, uh, uh, it's pretty durable for, uh, being made elsewhere. And it was cheap. It's an Amazon. It was cheap. Uh, when I got it, you know, I, I wasn't gonna hold my breath on, uh, its durability and its construction and how long it lasts and so on and so forth. Nothing is loose on this thing. It's strong material. It's lightweight, which is something I really enjoy because my pack is already getting heavy enough. <laughs> I carry a lot of stuff in there, a lot of camera related stuff that makes it heavy. Um, and I really like finding pieces of gear that are kind of lightweight. So overall, I'm really impressed with this thing. And it's easy to assemble, easy to disassemble, easy to clean, easy to use the, uh, the core features and functions of it. The grip is pretty comfortable. Um, it doesn't hurt my hand, you know, when I'm using it. And overall, I love it. So yeah, cool, uh, shovel, outdoor shovel. I will include a link as I said, down in the description below, you could go check it out. If you want to pick one up, pick one up. And, yeah, you know, so now I'm going to disassemble this baby. We'll just fold that like that. Well, maybe I'm not. Let's do that so I don't put a uh, giant, you know, cut through the uh, handle on it. That's... <laughs> um, so like that and simply take your little bag put that in there like so put that in there like so it all fits great clip it and ta-da i mean hands handheld pretty cool huh i think it is